good people on. Welcome back to the Arch Vet channel. Today, we just got major flat. So, since I'm here, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the tire. First things first is we gotta clear all this stuff out of the way. Then we gotta pop this up, put our tire pump over there. And that should suffice. Now on the 2016 Explorer, you got these little clips back here. You got to turn those, pop that off, toss that up there. And then you can reveal your spare tire, just like so. You gotta take that off, toss that over to the side. You got to spin this guy. And I think you can unspin him just enough to where you can get the hook at the bottom to come out. Like that. Set him aside. So you're gonna need this guy. So we'll set that over there. Take out our jack. Set that over there. And take out our wheel. And while we're here, we're gonna grab that epic thumbnail real quick. Grab a couple. All right. Let's get All it right. right. So before you get it jacked up too high. You're going to want to loosen your lugs, and so that's what I'm doing right now. And sometimes you got to pull a little muscle into it. And I'm, I'm trying to be pretty quick about this, because I'm actually trying to make it somewhere. And uh, might not make it on quite on time, which if not, you know, it is what it is. All about your leverage and what leverage you got so it looks kind of like I know what I'm going to be doing this weekend <clears throat> yay all right now that we got those all broke loose you want to find your jacking point which mine happens to be right here and there's another one up front your owner's manual should tell you where that's at and we're just gonna start jacking up the car now by using this guy and luckily I made this thing swivel like this so you can just go like a little half circle and then another half circle to rotate it and that is how we change the tire I'm sure we're gonna have some people like what are you doing bro just making a YouTube video In my bike. I actually so this happened two blocks away from where I'm actually at but it's safer to find somewhere not busy because I was on plum that road right there which is super busy and you definitely don't want to change a tire on that road so I'm gonna go ahead and finish jacking this up cut back to removing the lugs putting the spare on tightening it and uh, getting on my way thanks guys so if you break your lugs loose enough you can just use your hand like I just did for all of mine go ahead and... uh oh I'm gonna have to get some more hang on bear with me Just like that, we've got the spare on. So I like to put the bottom one in first and then just uh, kind of let that one hold in, get it as far as you can. And then you wanna hand tighten all of these. See the pattern I'm going here? From here to there, to there, to there, to there, back. 
you always want to do it equally <laughs> and I do the wrong one I got distracted so the point of this is this way you don't you get it on there right so now that we're getting closer it'll start I'll start pushing this one in and then I'll push up on the top tighten that go back down here push over here tighten that all the way tighten this one all the way and then tighten that one even more and you just continuously do this your pattern with your hand and you could use a tool but I don't have one in my car so give it a little push make sure everything is nice and tight once you're all nice and tight you can go ahead and just let her down so now to unjack her well here's the story what happened I uh, hit a curb and blew a tire. So now we're gonna go see Derek and Sarah at Tom and Dan's and they're gonna help me get a new tire. Put it on the way around, I may as well do the other side. Cause when you change tires, get new tires, it's always a good idea to go ahead and replace the other side. That way they wear equally and you don't have weird wear etc 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 anyhow I think I'm gonna make it to what I'm trying to go to hopefully I do in time I hope this this helps you guys out with how to change a tire I definitely didn't plan this <laughs> I'm just making light of a bad situation hope you all have a great day we will catch you in the next one don't forget your thumbs up if it did help you drop those comments down below if you got questions and as always click that red subscribe button and we will catch you guys Right, super quick. <laughs> I forgot to mention that once you lower the jack, you definitely need to tighten those lug nuts because hand tight's not gonna cut it. Those things are gonna fly off and you're gonna wreck. So be sure to tighten those lug nuts. We'll catch you guys later.